It's a giveaway, and it's Shelton, one-on-one -on -one with Ridgewell. He leaves for Croze. Croze in the box. Vitas got back to defend. Now Zussi. Espinoza, the drive. Gleason, the save. Shelton trying to get back on it. Vitas wins it. The first big moment of the match, and it's Jake Gleason coming up with the save. Big save. Absolutely massive, this save, Gleason because Espinoza, he just gets all the way through this ball with his laces, and that is going for the far corner. And so while Gleason, he's come out with his body, it's the last second his left arm comes up. Pure reactions. Russell again. Slipping it through. Oh, it's a great goal. Flag stays down. And it's Sporting Kansas City taking the early lead. Roger Espinosa making it 1-0. Well, it's a very smart pass from Russell. But he has time to pick up his head. There's no pressure. And then there's nobody following Espinosa. Shouts of offside. It's a good picture here. Just when Russell releases, is he offside? It's tight. And the question would be whether he's level with Ridgewell. Too close to tell. But you can quite clearly see nobody is tracking Espinosa. Gopar is able to play it over to Roger Espinosa. Now space for Labato to get forward. Slides it through for Rubio, who is onside here. Rubio into the penalty area, slides it past the keeper, and it's 2-0 Sporting Kansas City. An absolutely magnificent finish from Diego Rubio. And if it is proven that he's off onside, that was a wonderfully timed run as well. Ran all the way along the line, just held his run, then at the last minute just checks off Liam Ridgewell. But that's a really clinical finish from Diego Rubio. Felipe Gutierrez. Just the ability to convert from that number nine position could be enormous for Sporting KC. Here comes an opportunity for Amateros, and he clips it inside the far post. What a finish. Speaking of number nines coming on, Armenteros pulls one back for the Timbers, and a fantastic finish. We said that's what he's all about, clinical finishing. I thought that actually Ike Parra defended this relatively well. He, he shepherds Armenteros out wide, but it's a great finish from Armenteros. Not a great deal Tim Melia can do about that. He just cuts it back so well with his left foot, Armenteros. On the near side. And the run by Vitas. Puts the cross in. Armenteros still with it, trying to touch his way around Melia, and he puts it in. And it's a brace for Armenteros, who was given sudden life to the Portland Timbers, coming on at halftime. He's drawn the Timbers level. It's another decent finish. It's good feet in the six-yard box from Armenteros. It's a little bit scrappy. Yes, SKC aren't going to be too happy with their defending there, but he does very well, Armenteros. He's on his own there in the six-yard box, surrounded by four or five SKC players, plus Tim Melia, who obviously can use his hands being the goalkeeper, but Armenteros just dinks that into the back of the net. It's a good finish once again from Armenteros. That's a brace within 14 minutes for Armenteros. It's Elie to take the corner this time for Sporting. Rubio got ahead to it, and another fantastic save by Jake Gleason. He has kept the Timbers in this match. And Marco Farfan's just come into the game, not quite up to speed, just got caught underneath the ball there, Farfan. It's a good leap by Diego Rubio. That's the whole back four now switched up yeah. for SKC. And a chance again for the Timbers. And it's in on the rebound. It didn't take long for that new back line to get tested, and the Portland Timbers have taken a 3-2 lead. Yeah, and that is the problem when you're making that many changes. This is all about pre-season. It's all about protecting your players. You mentioned, Nate, that Vitas pulled a hamstring. Peter Vermees has withdrawn his more experienced back line. He doesn't want to suffer any injuries, and this type of goal can happen. Three of that back four have only just walked onto the pitch. Very hard for them to get up to speed straight away. 